M.C. Hammer, whose real name is Stanley Kirk Burrell, was born on March 30th, 1962 in Oakland, California, USA. He was raised in a poor neighborhood in East Oakland, and his childhood was marked by poverty and crime. Despite these challenging circumstances, Haver found solace in music and dance. From a young age, Haver showed a talent for performing. He was particularly drawn to dancing and became known for his impressive moves. He also developed an interest in rap and hip-hop music, which was gaining popularity in the 1980s. Hammer's early experiences in the streets of Oakland deeply influenced his music and persona. He often incorporated themes of resilience, perseverance, and positivity into his songs, reflecting his desire to rise above his circumstances. Before achieving mainstream success, Hammer worked as a bat boy for the Oakland Athletics baseball team, where he earned the nickname Hammer due to his resemblance to baseball legend Hank Aaron. He later added MC, which stands for Master of Ceremonies or Mic Controller, to his stage name, thus becoming MC Hammer. MC Hammer began his musical career in the mid-1980s, performing in clubs and gaining local recognition in the Bay Area. He released his debut album, Feel My Power, independently in 1987, which gained some attention, but did it propel him to mainstream success. In 1990, MC Hammer released his third album, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him, which catapulted him to superstardom. The album featured the mega-hit single, You Can't Touch This, which sampled Rick James' Super Freak and became a global phenomenon. The accompanying music video featuring Hammer's signature dance moves and flashy wardrobe received heavy rotation on MTV and other music channels. Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him went on to become one of the best-selling rap albums of all time, selling over 10 million copies in the United States alone. The album produced other successful singles, such as Pray, Have You Seen Her, and Here Comes the Hammer. MC Hammer's impact extended beyond music. He became a cultural icon, known for his distinctive dance style, flamboyant fashion sense, including his trademark baggy pants and positive, family-friendly image. He transcended traditional hip-hop audiences, appealing to a mainstream audience with his upbeat and accessible music. With his mainstream success, MC Hammer became one of the most recognizable figures in popular culture during the early 1990s. He made numerous television appearances, starring in commercials, and even had his own cartoon show, Hammer Man. MC Hammer's impact on music and popular culture is significant. He helped popularize rap music and dance culture among mainstream audiences, paving the way for future hip-hop artists. Additionally, his entrepreneurial ventures, including his own record label, in various business ventures, demonstrated his business acumen and entrepreneurial spirit. While his primary focus was on music, he ventured into acting and television hosting roles. Here are some notable examples. Hammerman 1991 Hammerman was an animated television series produced by DIC Entertainment and starred MC Hammer himself. The show featured Hammer as a superhero named Stanley Burrell, who transformed into the superhero Hammerman whenever he put on magical shoes. The show aimed to combine entertainment with positive messages for children. The Surreal Life 2005 MC Hammer appeared as a cast member in the fourth season of the reality television series The Surreal Life. The show brought together a group of celebrities, and filmed them living together in a Hollywood Hills mansion. Hammer's appearance on the show provided fans with a glimpse into his personal life and interactions with other celebrities. The Right Connections, 1997. This made-for-TV movie featured MC Hammer 
in a supporting role. The film revolves around a group of teenagers who use their street smarts and connections to navigate their way through various challenges. Gold Member, 2002 MC Hammer made a cameo appearance in this comedy film, Austin Powers in Gold Member. In the movie, he performs a parody version of his hit song, You Can't Touch This, alongside the character Austin Powers, played by Mike Myers. MC Hammer has been around the block more than once, and I see a thing or two. He's had over $30 million, sold over 50 million albums, he's been on top, and he's been at the bottom. He's now a businessman, tech entrepreneur, and startup investor, and pitchman. But through it all, there has been one constant, his wife, Stephanie. The couple have been married since 1985, before he came out with his groundbreaking first album, Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him. She's seen it all right there with him, but their marriage almost didn't happen. As a matter of fact, Hammer was being set up to marry the legendary Whitney Houston. Yes, that Whitney Houston. Hammer says that while at the Super Bowl 25, where Houston gave a memorable rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, the late singer's father, John, attempted to play matchmaker for the two stars. Whitney's dad, pulled me and Whitney into a room and said, you know, Hammer, you should really consider marrying Whitney. And I said, I'd love to, but I'm already married. Hammer continued saying, I love my wife dearly, but I always laughed about that. Always a big fan of Whitney. I loved Whitney and miss her dearly. At the time, Hammer had just celebrated his five-year wedding anniversary. Now the couple will be celebrating 35 years married. Wow. Amber simply says, you have wealth when you have a family. Family is all that I need. Pray for them, listening to them, and taking my wife and family with him on his travels is a part of Hammer's routine of building a close, tight-knit family. And don't let the flashiness fool you. When he's home, he's a little more reserved, Stephanie says. The couple have five children together, and Stephanie says, He's a hands-on dad. There's nothing that comes across in the family that he's not involved in, she says. People have to understand that I started working when I was 18 years old for the Oakland Raiders until I was 18. So way before I became MC Hammer, I was generating revenue and had four houses and two Porsches. Therefore, making money has never been a challenge for me because I'm a hard worker and creator. I don't operate from a losing mentality. Hammer says he's in a good place now. Some people ask me sometimes, would I go back and change things? He says they are flabbergasted by my answer. My real, true answer is I wouldn't change one thing. I really believe in the butterfly effect, meaning that if I change one thing, everything else changes. I lose the kids I have now. I lose the relationships I have now. I lose the peace I have now. So I'm very happy with my decision. Let's take a look at how MC Hammer's kids are living up to their dad's incomparable legacy. Robert Bobby Burrell Back in 2011, the then 16-year-old Robert Burrell, a.k.a. Bobby Bobby Burrell, told BLK that he wanted to be a successful rapper like his father. I dance, rap, and as of right now, I would like to pursue my dream of being able to sing. I am in the making of being who I want to be. That's the best way I can put it. I thank God for where I am at in life. Without him, nothing would be possible, he said. Today, however, it seems like Bobby has lived up to that dream. Sometimes going by the name of Bobby Hammer, He's appeared in some remixes of his father's songs, like Better Run Run. Jeremiah Barrel Like his brother, Jeremiah Jerry Burrell is also a rising singer and rapper. Per his Facebook page, however, little else is known about his life as he keeps his social media pages, including his Instagram page, private. Sammy Burrell The youngest of MC's sons, 
Sammy Burrell has appeared in several reality shows with his family, including the 2009 reality show Hammer Time. However, as of late, he keeps his private life off of social media. Sarah Burrell Like her brothers, Sarah Burrell also appeared on the Hammer Time reality show with her family, but her life remains pretty private for now. Akiva Burrell Akiva Burrell is pretty active on her Twitter page, but little is known about her private life, except to say that she lives in the Bay Area of California. MC Hammer is an American rapper, entertainer, and dancer who has a net worth of $2 million. What's even more impressive, as Afrotech previously reported, that he blew through his entire $17 million fortune in about five years. With 20 luxury cars, 21 horse races, a private jet, and a helicopter to his name, to say nothing of such a countermance is a gold-plated toilet, a fleet of racehorses, and a staff that cost him anywhere from $500,000 to $1 million per month. It's easy to see how much money came as quick as it went. Hammer also insisted on employing a staff of around 200 people, which cost him an estimated $500,000, which is £373,000 a month. However, it was his home where the star spent his real money. He bought a property in Fremont, California for $12 million, 9 million pounds, and spent another $30 million, which is 22 million pounds, turning it into his dream home. Not one to skin, Hammer installed gold-plated front gates emblazoned with his Hammer Time catchphrase. He added a bowling alley, basketball court, baseball triangle, recording studio, 17-car garage, tennis courts, and two swimming pools to the 40,000-square-foot mansion. One of the pools was famously shaped in the outline of his famous baggy trousers. He adorned the property with marble statues of himself and installed a gold hot tub in his bedroom. The star took his decorating inspiration from many of the hotels he stayed in his travels, adding black carpets, marble floors, and a pop-up TV in front of his bed. He told the Chicago Tribune, When I moved in here, it felt more like I was still on vacation, he said. In my world travels, I stayed at the finest hotels. I've seen the best. That pop-up TV console in the bedroom? I got that idea at the Mirage in Vegas. All the floors are marble. My wife flew to Italy and picked it out of the mines. They cut it out of the mountain, but I've only used the marble steam room in my bathroom once, and I've probably never even sat on the couch in the living room. When asked to explain why he needs so much cash on his home, he said, I did it because I could. Despite his losses, though, MC Hammer says he wouldn't change a thing. Not that I had to live here, but I could. Do I have regrets? I'm just not one to do that. Gradually, the money ran out, and Hammer found he was spending more than he was earning. Hammer time came to a stop when he filed for bankruptcy in April 1996, listing more than 200 creditors as well as amounting tax bills. Hammer was forced to sell his beloved brief home for just $6.5 million, $5.5 million less than he originally paid for it. His cars, planes, and horses were taken away, and he had to move to a much more humble house with his family. Despite going through such a, a tough downfall, the star remained philosophical and insisted he wasn't going to be defined by material things. Some people ask me sometimes, would I go back and change things? He said to Oprah. They're flabbergasted by my answer. My real, true answer is, I wouldn't change one thing. I really believe in the butterfly effect. Meaning that if I change one thing, everything else changes. I lose the kids I have now, 
I lose the relationships I have now. I lose the peace I have now. So I'm very happy with my decision. The good news is MC Hammer seems to be doing just fine. He owns a piece of Twitter and has recovered nicely from his bad financial decisions. He has definitely built back better from where he once was. And as he said, he credits his wife Stephanie to whom he has been married for more than three decades, and his five children for helping him recover his net worth back to $2 million per celebrity net worth. 